Hey guys, in this tutorial, we are going to make three easy IoT projects using Bolt IoT device for absolute beginners. And our first project will be a light monitoring system which can be used for monitoring the amount of light a plant is receiving. Moving to our second project, we are going to monitor the room temperature using LM35 temperature sensor with Bolt IoT device. And this temperature data will be available to us 24 7. Finally, in our last project, we will control an output device directly from the internet. For example, in this case, this LED strip here. And just to let you know, all the necessary links helpful to you are given in the description below. For this light monitoring system, you need a Bolt IoT device, a breadboard, and one register connected in series with an LDR. First, connect the end of the resistor to 5V pin of bolt and the end of LDR to ground pin of bolt. The remaining end goes to the only analog pin available on bolt. Now in your web browser, go to cloud.boltiot.com. As you can see here, the bolt is offline, which means it's not connected to the cloud or internet right now. Although I have already configured it with the cloud before, which is very easy to do. Check out the link in description for it. So let's connect bolt to the cloud. Blue light indicates that the device is on, whereas green light indicates that it is now connected to the cloud or to a Wi-Fi having stable internet connection. Now it's time to create our first product or project. So click on product and now click on build to create your first project. Give your project name and select input devices and GPIO since we are using analog pin here. Now our product has been created so let's configure this product. First hardware setup. Since we are using the only unlock pin, we are going to select A0 or unlock pin from here and give this variable a name. Now in code section, just uh, type the code, give it a name and save this configuration. Now exit. The next step is linking this product to the pole device. So click on link device to the product, select bolt. Now the product is linked with your device. Now we are going to deploy the configuration or our code to the bolt through cloud. So the hardware configuration deployed successfully. Now we are going to monitor the data we are receiving through the bolt device. Right now data count is 1. The data is pushed to the cloud every 5 minutes automatically. But you can get the data whenever you want by pressing this. Push data to the cloud. This way you can calibrate your sensor more effectively. On Y axis we have analog values or light intensity falling on LDR with respect to time on X axis. Now let's change the light intensity falling on LDR to see how the analog value changes. For monitoring temperature using Bolt, you just need an LM35 temperature sensor along with Bolt and breadboard. So these are the pinouts of LM35. First of all, connect VS and ground pin of LM35 to 5V and ground pin of Bolt respectively. And finally, connect the V output pin of temperature sensor to the analog pin of for Bolt. For creating this new product, we are going to follow the same steps we did for light monitoring system.
this graph shows the room temperature with respect to time in degrees Celsius. And here is the temperature data of past 2 hours. Highest temperature was 14.1 and lowest 13.5 degrees Celsius. You need a bold device, relay module, LED strip and a power supply for LED strip. Here are the circuit connections for this project. Let's connect each component quickly. First relay module with strip light. Now bolt with relay module. Now all the steps for creating a new product to control output are similar except this one where we have to select output instead of input since we need bolt to give on off signal to the relay rather than taking input from a sensor. Here is the required GUI having two control buttons LED on and LED off. LED on turns on the strip light whereas LED off turns it off. So that was all for today in this video. I hope you like this so don't forget to like share and subscribe. See you next time with another project video. Bye bye.